This is part two of Marriage d'Amour. We're going to be working on the right hand for the first four lines. Now, the right hand comes in on the third measure. So the left hand will be will play uh, comes in. It does wait a uh, 16th of rest uh, before the right hand comes in. So the left hand will play the uh, low G and then the right hand will come in. Um, the right hand is playing 16th notes which are twice as fast as the 8th notes that the left hand is playing. And we're going to start with our right hand on this upper G. Um, I would recommend um, starting with your third finger on that upper G and just the melody basically just goes doubled notes and goes like this. That's the first phrase. Very pretty. And then there is a quarter rest. Um, but for that first phrase, if we talk about finger, fingering a little bit, we started with our third finger and we did the double notes. But when you get to your thumb on the D, that's the opportunity where you can bring your third finger over your thumb to the B flat and then your hand is shifted to a new position to finish the rest of the phrase. So that's an easy way to get your hand moved to a new position and finger it smoothly. Um, then we have uh, a rest and a sixteenth, a quarter rest and a sixteenth rest before we begin the next phrase. Um, and the left hand Again, we'll come in first on the low F, and then the right hand starts with our E flat. Um, so as far as fingering goes for this one, I'm thinking you might start on a two finger on that E flat. Again, it's doubled notes usually. And yes, that works very well. You don't even have to move your hand at all. Um, there is um, another quarter rest. And then again, the 16th rest, uh, where the left hand comes in first. And then the right hand comes in. Um, it actually is, let's see if it's an exact repeat. It is an exact repeat of what we did at the beginning looks like to me starts on that high G follows the same melody yes it is the same so that makes it even easier so this third phrase is a repeat of the first it goes like this cross your third finger over once you get to that D and then uh, move your hand down to the B flat and, and move it to where you can play the rest smoothly. Then we have another quarter rest and a sixteenth rest so that's that's a pattern. And um, then this second or this fourth phrase yes it is a repeat of the second phrase. Oh that makes it a lot easier. So this phrase is the same as this phrase. So, fourth phrase, same as the second. Um, the left hand plays its F, and then the right hand plays starting with your two finger on the E flat. Yep, that makes it easier. Then there's only one more measure um, 
on the first page, the first four lines. And this is a repeat of what we just played. So a repeat of that last measure of the fourth phrase. So let's repeat. We have four phrases in the right hand on the first page of Merged More. So the first phrase, where we start with our three finger on the upper G. Then we have our quarter rest in the sixteenth rest. And then we have the second phrase, where we start with our two finger on the E flat. and 16th rest and we play the first phrase again and a quarter rest in a 16th rest and we play the second phrase again on the E flat measure of the first page repeats that last measure again. Okay, and that's the first page uh, with the right hand. We'll do a part three where we talk about how to put the two hands together.